Hello, hello, shalom. Shalom, beloved, shalom. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you, God bless you. Good morning, good morning for you that are up this morning, for you that are up this morning. Good morning, good morning. The appointment with the saints. This is the appointment with the saints. Bonjour, 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 bien aimé, bonjour, bonjour. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy trust in Jesus' name. Christ alone. Sing with me. Sing with me. Good morning. Shalom. Ça c'est le rendez-vous des saints. Our one hour prayer. Our one hour with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. From Tuesday to Friday we have been here. I'm Reverend Daniel. I'm Reverend Daniel. God bless you. God bless you. You that are tuning in. You that are tuning in for this morning prayer. Hallelujah. Fountain of, of Fountain of Agape Mission Center. We are located in the city center. Hallelujah. After this lock, lockdown is lifted. Look for Fountain of Agape Mission Center, Coventry. And then we will be together. Hosanna. Thank you, Lord. Within the veil. My anchor is whole within the veil. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, connect, connect, connect your children. Holy Spirit, connect your children. Holy Spirit, connect your children. Connect your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, connect your children. Connect your children. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Hosanna, Hosanna. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, glory, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Good morning, good morning all to all our viewers. Good morning to all our viewers. Good morning. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory to the Lord for us to be alive this morning, for us to be alive this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Many are dying, many are perishing. Hallelujah. But by the special grace of God, by the special grace of God, I can say by the grace of God, you are up this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Put something, put something so that we know that you are watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say good morning. Say good morning, Pastor. Hallelujah. We are blessed. Maria, good morning, beloved. Hallelujah. King of kings, Lord of lords, everlasting Father. The Bible says, uh, Hallelujah. The kingdom of God, the kingdom of God so far violence. The kingdom of God so far violence. And violent people take it. Hallelujah. That means that to wake up in the morning, to wake up in the morning, you have to you have to take some violence. You have to put some violence into your house, to, into your, your body. Your body, your body, your body doesn't want to wake up. Your body doesn't want to wake up. But <laughs> when you take your body into that heaviness, taking your body into the heaviness, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Yes, let us just wait a little bit for some few, for some few people, for some few child of God, for some few elect, for some few that God has chosen that we're going to agree this morning. For our family to resist the wickedness of the enemy. Our family must resist the wickedness of the enemy, beloved. Our family must resist the wickedness of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Oh, glory, glory, glory be to God. You that are up this morning, good morning. Put something, hallelujah. 
Mande Kere Boko Shankaraba, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, minister to your children, O Lord Jesus, those that are still sleeping. Hallelujah, Father Lord, give them the revelation. Oh, reveal to them, O Lord Jesus, that is a time of prayer. And let them wake up, O Lord Jesus, hallelujah, and follow you, who is the leader. The real leader is the Holy Spirit that is leading us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Let the word that come out of our mouth, let the word that proceed out of our mouth, Father, change lives, change families, change nations in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. If the Holy Spirit have ministered to you, now let us pray. We have been talking this week about family. Bonjour, bien aimé, bonjour, bienvenue à, la, à une heure de prière avec euh, le Reverend Daniel, the Fountain of Agape Mission Center, Coventry. Hallelujah. Donc, quand cette, euh, ce confinement va être levé et que l'Église pourra revenir ensemble, il faut nous chercher au centre, au centre de Coventry, 18 Hedford Street, Coventry. Write it down, CV11LF. Hosanna. Thank you, Lord. That is our address. And we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate because many have been locked down. Many have been locked down. Many want to go out. We want to go out. We have been praying that the churches should come out and do what the Lord has assigned to the church. You know, the Bible says we should go all over the world and preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. That's where the end will come, beloved. When the word, the gospel will be spread. So if we are confined outside, how can we reach the nation? So we want to reach the nation. We want to go out and evangelize. We want to go on the street and pray and, and, and minister to those children on the street. And minister to those ones that are on the street. Hallelujah. We have to go out. We have to go out. So if it's your desire, if it's your desire, you have to start thanking God. Thanking God for this a lifting of lockdown for this lifting of lockdown is of lockdown in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah we were praying this week for families for families and we saw what the enemy can come and do into the family but this morning beloved this morning what the law have tell me to do is to see why families break why family are scattered why the enemy which means the enemy comes to scatter the family. It's true argument. It's true dispute. It's true eh, eh, eh. conflict to bring disorder into the family. Dispute, argument, and conflict. And it end up with fight. It end up with fight. Some end up with even a, 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 a imprisonment. Is the government now that we separate the family because of the fight? Listen to what proverb, proverb chapter fifteen. You know we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray for every dispute that can arose into a family, any uh, 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 argument that can arose. Any misunderstanding that can arose into a family, beloved, because that's where problem comes from. When the children grown up and seen a father and mother always in argument, always in conflict, always in fight, how those children will be, their future is already damaged. So we're going to stand against all those things that bring dispute, argument, misunderstanding into the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Proverbs chapter 15. Proverbs 15 verse 18. Proverbs 15, 18. It says, hot temper cause argument. Hot temper cause argument. Another version says, hot head. <laughs> hot head start fight. Hot head start fight. When the enemy just realized that's one of the family, one of the family, either the father, either the mother, 
is short temper, have a short temper, and then he will use that, he will use that means and penetrate into that family and scatter that family. So we're going to pray this morning, beloved, that any short temper, any member that have a short temper, the enemy, Morocco Sakataba, will be set free in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible said, it brings fight. It brings fight. But patience, patience brings peace. Patience brings peace. We have to pray that Lord, let our temper be under control. Let our temper be under control. Let us know how to set the argument. We're going to pray that the father, the mother, the children, the God, the Lord will give them wisdom to know how to set the argument, beloved. You know, why the enemy comes with dispute, with conflict, with argument, with misunderstanding? If Jesus is not in the center of that family, that argument will arose easily. That argument will arose easily. So we pray this morning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord, give us a cool and calm temper. Give us a cool and calm temper. You're going to notice, you're going to notice that any cool and calm temper will always find solution. Find solution when argument arose in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And yesterday we say families should give themselves to devotion. Families should give themselves to devotion. Put something. Write something. Write yes, yes, yes. Father, I'm agree. I'm agree. I'm agree. You know, amen. 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 Put amen. Amen means I agree. Amen means I agree. Yes. The enemy will come in to a family through the person that's a hot temper. Hot head, hot temper, or hot head. He cannot calm himself down. He doesn't have patience. He's easily be putting off. The Bible says, he's the one, the person that will start fight. He's the one that will start fight. You have it in your Bible. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 18. He said, a hot head start fight. So we're going to stand against that spirit of hot head. We're going to stand against that spirit of hot temper that will come to destroy our family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, 31. Ephesians 4 31. It says, get rid of all bitterness. Get rid of all bitterness. So we're going to pray that bitterness will not enter into our family. Bitterness will not use one member of the family. You know, one member of the family, if he cannot be, be he cannot uh, forgive, if he cannot forgive, so he will always be in bitterness. He will always be in bitterness. And the enemy will use that means to penetrate into the family in the name of Jesus. So get rid of all bitterness. We pray that all bitterness will come out of the heart of the parents. We come out. Of the, of the heart of the children in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Only apostle is putting yes. Only apostle is putting yes. Hallelujah. You are watching me, but you are not saying anything. But we are praying that bitterness, the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of bitterness we get out of our families in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If the, if the spouse, if the husband, if the wife, they don't understand themselves. They cannot have a devotion time. They cannot sit down and discuss and, and find a solution. Oh, Gabo Seke, that's where the enemy will come. That's where the enemy will come. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, get rid of all rash. Get rid of all rash. You, it's a short temper that bring that rash. That means passion. You, you, are, you, are, you are, your joy is when you quarrel. Your joy is when, you, if you are, not, if you, somebody is not upset, you, you are not happy. So you always find something, put somebody in anger, 
Hallelujah. We come against the spirit of anger. We come against the spirit of anger because that will destroy families in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No more shouting. No more shouting. No more insult. No more insult. No more despise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give each person place in your family, beloved. Give, give them their respect. The respect that they do. The children. The children. Give them respect. Consider them. And they will respect you. They will give you back. It's what you give to the children that they give you back. Sometimes, because we, we don't call our children to devotion, to pray. We don't discuss issue with them. We just come and impose issue. We just come and impose our law. We are a lion in the house. No, no, no. He said, get rid of all anger. Get rid of all bitterness. Get rid of all rage. Get rid of all anger in all passion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. No more hateful feelings. No more hateful feelings. You see someone, you are... You, you are not happy. When you see someone, when somebody come in, you go in and lock yourself into the room. Man, We come against that spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against that spirit. The spirit of loneliness. The spirit of loneliness. We come against the spirit of loneliness. If it in the house, you don't, you, you lock yourself in the room. You, you don't discuss. You don't, you, you don't interact. We come against that spirit of loneliness in the mighty name of Jesus. We dismantle it. We destroy it. We uproot it in the name of Jesus. We pray for the spirit of uh, conversation, the spirit of communication, the Holy Spirit. We come. We come into your family, into your home, and bring joy and bring peace in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, get rid of all bitterness. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 31 to 32. Colossians 3, 13 says, talk, Colossians 3, 13 talk about tolerance. Tolerance. We have to be tolerant. We have to be tolerant. If you are not tolerant, that's where hot temper comes. That's where hot heart comes. That's where hateful Feelings comes. In the name of Jesus, we pray, we pray, we pray that we're going to be filled with the Spirit, with the Holy Spirit. Let the family be filled with the Holy Spirit. Every member of the family will be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. He said, be kind and tender. Be kind. The spirit of kindness. Recognize when somebody do good. Appreciate the children. Buy them gift. Hallelujah. Buy gift to your wife. Buy gift to your husband. In this part of the country, they give flowers. <laughs> in, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Send a little message. Send a little message of thank you. Oh, I appreciate what you have done. Yesterday, it was my birthday, my co-kataba. And use this occasion to thank all those that sent me a message, that sent me a card in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those that manifested themselves and said, Papa, send, me, send us your bank account. Father, I pray for those Akaboria Tete, your children, oh God. Father, bless them. Bless them hundredfold, hundredfold. Every message that I have received, but that bless my heart. Return it to your children hundredfold. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Be grateful. Be grateful, beloved. Be grateful. When your wife put food on the table, say thank you. When you have been served, say thank you. That will eliminate a little, little misunderstanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Another problem we have to share, we have to share. If we are going through problem, we have to share it. We have to share it with one another. We learned how to share our problem. We should not be, we should not be judging. Have a judgmental spirit. 
When you see somebody, you have already said that, oh, he's like this, he doesn't, he hates me, he hates me, he doesn't like me, he doesn't, no, 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 no. We come against judgmental spirit in our family in the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit destroyed family, beloved. Exodus 14, 14 says, it's Jesus, it's God that will fight for you, your case, on your behalf. He will fight for you. He will fight for you. You stay calm. You stay quiet. You position yourself. It says, stand still. Stand still. We are praying for family right now. Parents, to stand still. To stand still. If you are child, have been stubborn, don't panic. Don't panic. Or don't go and find solution. One thing I found. First Corinthians chapter 6, beloved. First Corinthians chapter 6. Apostle Paul was addressing something with Corinthians. That Christian, when they got problem, they will go and find stranger to come and trade the to come and solve the problem, to come and bring solution. No, the Bible says, as a Christian, if you have a problem, go and see that person personally. If he doesn't, take it to the church, take it to the member, to the to the pastor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's why Apostle was praying yesterday that we should not destroy our family by bringing strangers into our family. All the problem of your family is outside. You talk to everybody. You are, so, you are spreading it, you are spreading it. You are spreading it like, like, like fuel. No. Learn how to keep it the secret of your family in the mighty name of Jesus. That is one thing. Don't, 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 don't sell your children. Don't sell your children by telling everybody, Oh, my child is this. Oh, my daughter is this. Oh, my son have done this. Oh, my son. No, 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 no. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Read that passage. Put it down. First Corinthians. Hallelujah. The book of First Corinthians, beloved, chapter 6, verse 1 to 5. Verse 1 to 5. He said, don't bring stranger into your problem. If you are a Christian, if you have gone to see that person as the Bible requires, if something, somebody get you, wrong you, he said, don't pay it back with wrong thing, with wrong doing. But, go and see him. And you will pray. And if he doesn't listen to you, if he listen to you, you have win. You won him. I don't know why people are not commenting. People are not writing. It's not coming. Comment is not coming. Comment is not coming, beloved. Comment is not coming. I know you are watching. If you, if there is a problem listening, put it down. If there is a problem listening, put it down, so that we should know that you are not listening. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we believe that the Holy Spirit is minister to someone this morning. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse. Stranger into your problem. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, learn how to solve problem. Learn how to solve your problem. Learn how to solve your problem. If you doesn't, if the, he doesn't listen to you, you, you take it to your mentor. You take it to your pastor. Whatever church you are going, you are listening to me. Take it to your pastor. Your pastor will bring spiritual counseling and agree with you in prayer. And you will win that child back in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will not lose our children. Our children will not be lost. We will know what to do. That's why we are here to tell us, to educate of what parents have to do to save his family. In the mighty name of Jesus. It says, first of all, get rid of all argument. Get rid of all rage. Get rid of all bitterness. Hallelujah. Be tolerant. Be tolerant. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And now, First Corinthians is saying to us, don't, don't spread. Don't go. Don't take your problem. You are the first to take your problem to tribunal, to the judge. First of all, try to arrange it. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will help you solve that problem. The Lord will help you solve that problem. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. To unveil this, uh, this solution to us. To unveil this solution to us. Matthew. Matthew. The book of Matthew. Matthew chapter. Uh, hallelujah. Matthew chapter 5 verse 43. 
Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. This, uh, the Bible is telling us also how to solve the problem, beloved. It says you have heard that the, the law of Moses was, was You have heard that the law of Moses said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Hallelujah. Love your enemies. Love your enemies. Don't make one member of your family your enemies. Don't make one member of your family your enemies. Love your enemy. Pray that the spirit of hatred will not arose into your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Take any spirit of hatred. Take any spirit of hatred. Oh, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, in that way, you will be acting as true children of God. In that way. That means when you love your enemy, you will be acting as a true children of God. You will be act acting as a true children of God. Hallelujah. He said, if you just love those that love you, you are doing nothing. You are doing nothing. You are doing nothing. Mareke Sakarababa. Learn how to go and see your brother in private. In private. And try to solve that problem. Tell your pastor. Tell your pastor. And together you will pray. You will pray. You will pray. Before even you call the, 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 the child to, to, to address the issue. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your family will not be scattered. Your family will not be discouraged. Mantle, your family will not be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, the battle is not yours, the battle is not yours, it's your attitude, the attitude towards your child, the attitude towards your husband, the attitude towards your wife. That what will sustain your family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, he said, The parent needs wisdom, need wisdom to settle conflict and dispute. Matthew chapter 7 verse 12. Matthew 7 verse 12. He said, do for others what you want them to do to you. Hallelujah. If you want your wife to wake up in the morning and say, good morning, my husband. You yourself have to learn how to say, my wife, good morning. Say to your children, good morning, my son. Good morning, my daughter. But if you wake up. In, in, with, with not concern, not talking to one another. I come this morning to restore, to restore communication in your family. I come to restore communication into your family in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let communication be restored. Let peace be restored. Let peace be restored in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have been received a phone call, if you have received a phone call from your member of family, oh, send us a message. Send us a message. Send us a message. Go to our website, Fountain of Agape Mission Center. Go to our website. You will find a place where you can send us a message, where you can put your prayer request in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Take off take off our heart every bitterness. Take off our heart every, every uh, rage. Take off our heart every anger. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Paka boko seke. No hatred, no hatred, no hatred, no seed of hatred. We grow in our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. No seed of hatred. We grow into our heart. We grow into the heart of my our listener. We grow into the heart of our listener in the mighty name of Jesus. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be tender. Be tender. That is the... the, the that is the, the character of your God. He said, he, he, the tender mercy of God. The tender mercy of God. The tender mercy of God. Learn how to forgive. Learn how to forgive. If you find it difficult to forgive, if you find it difficult to forgive, you have to come. We have to agree together. We have to agree together. Let your heart not be heavy. Let your heart not be heavy. Jesus said, Lay down, lay down, bring all your burden, bring all your burden. If unforgiveness, if unforgiveness is your burden this morning, if unforgiveness is your burden, thank you, Maria, thank you, Maria, hallelujah, hallelujah, yes, 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 thank you, you are blessed, you are blessed, 
Your heart, your heart have been set free. Our heart have been set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will learn to forgive. Forgive your children. Forgive your, your son. Forgive your daughter. Forgive your husband. Forgive your wife. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive your auntie. Forgive your cousin. Forgive your niece. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Forgive even the leaders of your nation. You don't love your nation. You don't love the leader of your nation. But this morning, I say get rid of all bitterness. Get rid of all anger. Get rid of all rage. Get rid of all uh, uh, hatred in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. That's how we can build a strong and healthy family. That's how the church even will stand. Church starts with family, beloved. Church is a family. Now, if the family cannot understand themselves, if the family has scattered, that's why you, you see the husband wake up in the morning. I said, because of what you have done to me, I'm not going to church. I see the church, you are, they are blaming the church. Problem happen in the house, the church is suffering. The wife said, because of what you have done to me, I'm not going to that church anymore. Because he don't just want to see you. Because he just he don't just want to sit beside you. Your children doesn't want to come to the church that you are that they should to go to another church. Let unity, let unity be come back into our family. Let unity. Yes, deaconess. Yes, deaconess. You just <laughs> I think you just come out. I just see you now. Maroko Kataba. Let us get rid of all bitterness. Apostle is coming to take us into another level. <clears throat> get rid of all bitterness, all rash, all anger. Proverb, read that verse. 15, 18. Hot temper cause fight. <laughs> hot temper, hot heart. It's a hot head, hot head. Hot head. Hallelujah. Apostle is ready. Apostle is ready. Read that one. Proverbs 18, 15. Proverbs 18, 15. Hot temper. Get rid of hot temper. And be tender. Have mercy. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Sunday we have our communion in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you all that are watching this morning. Amen. You are welcome to our to our on life um, live Facebook live prayer. One hour prayer that we are taking ourselves to pray for what is worrying our family, to pray against the demon that is doing hallelujah, that is destroying our family. To pray against dispute, against the spirit of dispute, the spirit of fault, fault finding. You know, things that brings dispute in the family is someone that just stay and look for problem, look look for fault, create problem. This is a demon that is coming, hallelujah, to destroy family. And this is bringing a lot of issue. When children are there, they begin to see what the, the parents are doing. So they... This week we have been praying against that demonic spirit, mm. stubborn spirit, that demonic power that have come to build a stronghold in family, to stay there and those who want to go. So we have, we have come to uproot that spirit. We have come to dethrone that spirit. Let that spirit not stay in our family anymore because it brings division, it brings quarrel, it brings separation, it brings misunderstanding, hatred, a lack of forgiveness. Name it, name it, name it. There are many. And if you look at those things, if you look at it in the book of Galatians chapter 5, you will come to see that those spirits are against the word of God. You see the spirit of God and you see the spirit of the enemy. And that's why the man of God was saying, hallelujah, in the book of Proverbs uh, 18. He was saying in the book of Proverbs 18 that we should be calm. We should be calm. We should not be, hallelujah, uh, uh, hot temper, quick tempered, hallelujah. Because when, especially when you are a leader, as a father, as a mother, 
the children will irritate you with a lot of things that if you you want to follow them you can destroy your life you can destroy the life of those kids so this means that we need to go into prayer we need prayer we need our life to be saturated with prayer we need wisdom from the Lord, we need calmness, we need self-control, hallelujah, glory be to God, thank you brother Mark, you have just, you connected, you are watching, we thank you, hallelujah, you are tirelessness, you are always, amen, connecting, we thank each and everyone, sister Solange, sister Maria, I'm Marie from Candy, we thank everybody, we thank the Knojeradim, amen, that is connecting, this is powerful, we have to know, the best thing to know, the most important thing to know is not to see the man, is not to see the woman, is not to see the children, is to see the enemy that is behind them doing all these things. Hallelujah. We are dealing with demonic power. We are dealing with strongholds that have built their life, that build their, 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 their place in their families to destroy family. Bring when he knows that this woman, this man is not a short temper, it will enter into that into that person and began to cause problem, began to look forward, began to create problem. There are people that when they don't create problem, they are not happy. They make their spouse not to be happy and also they make their children not to be happy. So that is what we are coming against. Hallelujah. We are coming against that demonic power that is destroying family nowadays. That demonic power. We come against it this morning. The Bible says so. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew Matthew chapter 18, Jesus Christ clearly said, so whatever thing we bind on earth shall be bind in heaven and whatever thing we lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. It means that we have to identify the demon that is destroying family. We have to identify the demon, the evil spirit that is behind that woman, behind that man. Well, hallelujah. That is causing problem. That is creating problem. We have to identify and we have to know that this is the devil and we, I'm not dealing with my wife I'm not dealing with my children. I'm not dealing with my husband. I am dealing, hallelujah, I am against that demon. So you go into prayer and begin to burn that spirit that has come to build a stronghold in your family to destroy your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray that prayer. You identify that demon, that stubborn spirit, hallelujah. We have to identify it this morning. That is the spirit of this spirit. Quarrel, misunderstanding, fault finding, hallelujah. That is, and that spirit has come to enter into a church. He has come to enter in the church of Jesus Christ. You look at your sister, you began to think, he doesn't, he doesn't love me, she doesn't love me, she doesn't greet me, she doesn't do this. You began to think, you see, and that demon will, will begin to elaborate. My husband said, we began to do what? Amplify it, zoom. put in, zoom it, so that you see the sister. You have not done anything, but the sister began to elaborate things. Began, I've seen a lot of people when they come to our ministry, when they come to the church, when pastor preach, they say, it's against me. He's talking. It's, it is my problem. He, the pastor have not even known your problem. Don't even know you. For finding spirit, we have to identify that demon. Come against that spirit this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, for finding that spirit of division and separation, that demon that is bringing hallelujah, causing problem in the family. I'm coming against. It. Pray that prayer this morning. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer this morning. That demonic power, pray it in the name of Jesus Christ. I say the book of Matthew chapter 18. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ already has told us all this thing. He knows that we, we are going to fight. He knows that this 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 warfare is not carnal. He says so. Hallelujah. He said, I tell you the truth. Amen. I tell you the truth. I tell you the truth. Hallelujah. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. What are we bounding on earth? What are we holding? What are we binding on earth? We are binding that spirit and heaven will agree because it's not the will of God for us to be separated for us to be divided for us not to be in harmony for us to be not to be in unity it is not the will of God for family and brothers and sisters not to be in unity it is the devil that comes to to to, to destroy hallelujah he comes to steal to destroy and to kill he, he, the, Jesus Christ says so he said the thieves coming not when he see that there is that 
peace, that unity, even in the church. When he sees that, he doesn't come to a church that is no unity. That's no love. He comes to a church that is unity and love. He will come to separate it. He will bring forth finding. He will bring a lot of misunderstanding. If you as a leader, you don't have spiritual eyes, you will take everybody like enemy. So we are coming against that spirit this morning. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are coming of Nazareth and come against that demonic power, that demonic spirit that is holding family, that is destroying family, that is making me or making you, hallelujah, not to love my brother, not to love my sister, not to love my children, not to love my husband. I come against that spirit this morning in the name of Jesus. I stand by your word in Matthew 18, 18. We bind that spirit. I agree with my brother. I agree with my sister. This morning in the name of Jesus, I command you demonic power. I command you in the house of my brother, carry your baggage and go. This morning, carry your load and go. That place, that house, that family does not belong to you. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ, carry your baggage, carry everything that you have deposited, carry quarrel, carry division, unforgiveness, carry it, you demonic power. Agree right now in the name of Jesus. Carry it and go to the desert. That family does not belong to you. That child doesn't belong to you. That lady doesn't belong to you. That whole husband is a child of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Agree with me this morning. Command that demon to go. Leave your daughter. Leave your son. Command in the name of Jesus. Leave that your unbelief husband. Don't say he's an unbeliever but he's a child of God. He was created in the image of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, command that demonic power that is holding him. Command you have the authority and the power to stand against the power of darkness controlling the mind of your children, controlling your heart. You've got the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Cast it out from your house in the name of Jesus. Yes, cast that demon out. Your family, your children does not belong to the devil. It belongs to God. God has created us in his image and he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that comes to, he died on the cross to redeem us, to save us from our sin. So we will not open the door, hallelujah, for the enemy to enter. He is looking for a little door. When a little, not even a door, window, when that little window is open, you will see him entering his eye. Yep. And then he began to cause problems. He began to elaborate problems. That's why you as a leader, as a father, as a husband, you have to understand the works of the devil. And you will not, hallelujah, cooperate with that people. You will not cooperate with it. You will go into prayer. You will calm down. You have self-control. You have love. Hallelujah. You have affection. You, you can create another problem. My God, my God, my God, my God. You have to know that God has given us the authority. Luke 10, 19. Jesus Christ says so. So I've given you power and authority over this spirit. So we should not allow this demonic power Hallelujah. That is coming to destroy our family. That's coming to destroy our children. That's why I say we need to identify it. We need to go into prayer. Prayer must be, hallelujah, the hand of which we are opening this door. We pray that God should restore our prayer life. When our spirit is saturated in prayer, when that person is coming, we need to identify it. If it doesn't change, hallelujah, you give a little gap. Go into prayer. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Pray until something happen. Pray until something happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That demon of disobedience, rebellion. Hallelujah. You know, on submissive. Fact, a, a, a women don't want to be submissive, to, and that is a problem now. We are equal with our. It doesn't mean that God has not made us equal, but He has given us our place. In the house, and that is what is causing problem. If any woman, any man will know, I will not never take the place of my husband. He knows what they ought to do. My God, I know what I ought to do so that there may be peace. There will be peace in the house. There will be peace, and there will be joy. There will be harmony in the house in everything we are doing. Each and everyone, even in the church, many people don't know their position. They don't know what they ought to do. They don't know what God has called them to do. That's why they, they don't know their place. And this one causes a lot of problems. What is bringing that problem? It's unsubmission, lack of 
humility. And this thing is happening in the family. Children don't want to humble themselves. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And that's why the man of God was saying that we don't need to have hot temper. When we see it, we need to identify the problem. We need to know that this child is being motivated by the evil one. He's being motivated by the evil spirit. Uh, 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 French man say, Le Malin. The craftiness, the crafty mm -hmm. one, Le Malin. Le Malin. That is, he called the devil the, the crafty. That is crafty. He knows how to penetrate in, in, in the family. Hallelujah. This morning we are praying that God will give us a heart of forgiveness. Jesus Christ said, Forgive. Hallelujah. For us, forgive your brother and your sister so that your father in heaven will forgive you. And this thing is happening in the family. Father, oh, Jesus Christ, the devil is a liar. You, a wife will sleep with, I don't know, I, I don't know. The wife will be in the house with the husband, they don't talk. The wife will not talk to the husband. The wife will not talk to the child. The wife will not talk. They, 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 they are divided. They don't speak. They don't say, good morning, my God, my God, my God. Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. We are coming against that spirit. Hallelujah. That spirit, my God, that spirit of lack of forgiveness. The bad Jesus Christ said, let your your anger, not let the soul not sleep, my God, without you forgiving your brother. And this is what is causing a lot of problem, beloved. This is what is bringing division. This is what is bringing problem in the family. Pray that prayer with me this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I forgive my brother. I forgive my sister. I forgive my husband. I am forgiving my brother. If you don't forgive your children, how then can you pray from the heart? How can you pray? Because God says, He says, He's searching the heart and the motive of the, our intention. So it means that when we are praying and the heart is bitter, Jesus, the Holy Spirit is not there. He said he's looking. He's searching the heart. He's, he's a love. He's looking. Is your is our prayer motivated with love? Is our prayer, the prayer that we are praying for your husband, for your children, is that prayer motivated? You know the enemy, the craftiness, the malin, he will, what will it bring? Immediately you want to pray for that your, your husband or your son. He will bring the problem that he has done, the issue that he has done that hurt you. He will present Sent it to your front. He said, Look at you want to forgive? Look at what he did. He will still do it again. My God, my God. He will say he will do it. You don't need to pray for him. He will do it. He will continue to do it. No matter what you can forgive your brother. Seven, 77 times seven a day. 77 times times seven. Can no person can uh, no person can hurt you 77 times times seven. Nobody, nobody, nobody can hit you 77 times times seven. Nobody. It may be one time, two times a day, and then you elaborate it. You make it not to my God. I want us to pray for that demon of unforgiveness that has come to stay in the family. He has built the stronghold. He said, This is my home. I will dwell there. We want to cast him out from that family this morning in the name of Jesus. First of all, from your heart, cast that demon out. Remove that demon for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Take it, uproot it. Remove that bitterness. Uproot that bitterness in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove it in the name of Jesus. I come against that demon of bitterness in my heart. I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against that demon of bitterness in the name of Jesus, of forgiveness. I command you this morning, lose my heart, lose my spirit, lose my soul. This morning, my body, my soul does not belong to you. My spirit does not belong to you. I have been washed by the blood of Jesus, has been purified, have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. So therefore, my body, my body, my soul, and my spirit is not your dwelling place. The Holy Spirit has taken me is dwelling place. So pray that prayer this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, pray with all your heart. Tell the devil that you know him. When he brings bitterness and forgiveness, he wants to dwell in that place in your heart. When he brings it, he wants to build. I come against that demonic power, that evil spirit that is bringing unforgiveness in the family, in the heart of that woman, in the heart of that man, in the heart of that child. I come against in the name of Jesus Christ, 
I command you this morning by the authority and the anointing in the word of God. Carry your baggage and go away from that woman's heart, from that man's heart, from my child, from my daughter. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that prayer this morning. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble. Hallelujah. Because we are going right to the root. We know that this is what is causing problems in the church, in the family. Unforgiveness, lack of forgiveness, lack of understanding, lack of wisdom. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are coming against that spirit, beloved. We have to know, we have to identify that spirit, that demonic power. And many people have elaborated and they have sitting on it. I don't want to see, they have seen a lot of people. I don't come to your church because this person is there, this person there. What is shame? Makaseke, you are giving room to the devil. I don't come to your church because this member in my in your church have done it. What is shame? Makaseke, Ria, Baka, Sanda, Ria, Baba. Pastor have done this to me. What is shame? We are the one, we are the eyes of the pastor to pray for one another. Jesus Christ said, pray for one another. Not because it's a pastor that thing cannot fall. Makasi Karababa. We are praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stand against that demon. Yes, stand against it. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. We are standing against it in the family. Began to forgive. Began to let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Don't put yourself in that bondage. Don't make yourself a slave of unforgiveness. That is a slave. Somebody has helped you for years. He has been your hand. He has been doing good things for you. That same person become your enemy? No. That is the devil. Makasika. You don't talk to the person anymore. You don't greet the person. You cannot even say no nothing. That person has been there for you. You have been there for that person. But at the minute you see, the person doesn't want to see you. That is a demon. My God, pray. Pray that prayer. Pray that because of little things. Makasika, Raila, Makaseke. We have to identify that problem. We have to know where the problem is coming from. The devil is a liar. He's bringing division in the family. The devil is a lover. He's bringing division among the children, among the parents, among husband and wife. He has come, hallelujah, to dwell there. He is dwelling. When he touched the father, the father doesn't say anything. He will go to the mother. The mother doesn't say, he will not go to the children. You hate me. You don't love me. I've been rejected. He began to call police left and right. Makaseke. Okay, that is demonic power of forget. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, give me love. I'm forgiving my brother, my sister, my husband, my children, as from whatever thing they've done. Jesus Christ did not count our sin. He said, I have come to save the sinner free. I have come to set us free. He's come to set us free. He said, Why we were yet sinner? Christ died for us. That is, it didn't come because we were righteous. It came because we were sinner. So when God has given us a ministry, we are, the church is a hospital. Oh my God, my God, this prayer is so powerful. The church is the hospital that sinner may come and be taught the love of God. Hallelujah. And when they come, they will be told the, the, the harmony, the unity. Hallelujah. Start from the head to toe, from the master, Jesus Christ, our rabbi. He showed us the love. When we read all, he never, never contradicted his father. We are praying the name of Jesus. Pray that the spirit of unity, the spirit of unity will dwell in our family. First of all, our family, physical and spiritual family. Hallelujah. The spirit have gone to a church. No person will greet you. As you enter there, you go. You, no person. Everybody carries back and go. And that is what we are against in our ministry. We want need, we want harmony. We want unity. Hallelujah. We want interaction, communication. And so that the devil will not have that seed to accuse this and that. So we are, and anyone that has that seed, it doesn't feel comfortable at all. <laughs> because instead of to identify the problem, it will be identifying the, the issue of people. We are praying that unity will reign in churches. Love will reign. Let's build, hallelujah, let's build the house of love in our family. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Now that we are forgiving one another, we, have, we, we know the things, let's pray that love will enter into our heart. I mean true love. True love, no love with hypocrisy. <laughs> but in the heart, it's not like that. No. True love, that when you smile, comes from the heart. The fountain of love will come from the heart. And then the person will be blessed. 
My case keria bakasande. The spirit of God, yeah, brother. The spirit, the spirit, brother man. That spirit, the Holy Spirit. We 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 bring we bring that love. You know, just a smile, just smiling will deliver someone. Just smiling. Ye kasakara masekeria basanda. Just smiling to somebody. Just smiling to a person that has come to your house. Just giving a cup of water. My God, that person is set free. He is delivered. He see the harmony. See the love you've shown. You don't know the issue of the person during the day. And when he comes to your house, you reject. You don't want to say, sit down, my sister, have a cup of tea, have this. No. You don't even want to greet. That kind of spirit will come against it as a child of God. We come against it, beloved. We come against it. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying another prayer. For finding. Yes. Ye kasakari amakasende. Against the spirit of for finding. For that is another demon that doesn't want to dwell among the children. That demon is coming to scatter. Suspicious. Hey kasekara. That's suspicious spirit. When you read the book of Hallelujah Corinthians, the book of love, Jesus Christ said we should not, Paul said don't be, love doesn't suspect. Love does love mm. pardon everything, love forgive everything, doesn't suspect, no suspicious, not for finding. We pardon everything. Hallelujah. We are praying against that for finding. My God is destroying people. It's destroying members of the church. It's destroying. No, you, that's why the man of God said, when your brother, your sister have done something, come to him face to face. Yes, Lord. Don't come when you have already sprayed it to every person. That's fault finding. Mm -hmm. Go and meet the person. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If the person has wronged you, if the person, even they haven't wronged you, because the person understands that the, 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 the way of the devil, he will ask for forgiveness to make peace. Yeah, Kasaka, when you come to me, that tell me, my God. I, because I understand that this, I haven't done this, this is a devil. I will say, oh, forgive me myself from the bottom of my heart so that we can be peaceful and we carry our work with God. Yes, my God, I pray for that. Pray that prayer this morning. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Cast that demon of suspicious in your head, in my head. Yes, suspicious. And that demon of suspicious brings fear. Brings fear. Brings fear. You don't have confidence. You don't have confidence in yourself. You are so afraid. My God. And that's why cousin proves out. He's talking to a man. Oh, this is that. Oh, my, my wife is, is, is discussing with a man. My, somebody call my wife or call my husband. Those are for finding. Nothing has happened. And the devil knows that. Hey, We come against that spirit this morning. In the name of Jesus. Stand against that spirit. Stand against it. There are many. Name them. Name them, really. I always write them down. Then began to pray. Began to pray. Cast them out in my life. Cast them out. Cast them out. I began to pray. One by one, cast them out. That stubborn spirit that is bringing problems. Cast them out. This will be a lack of humility. Cast them out. Lack of humility. Pride. Cast it out. In the name of Jesus, send it out. Cast it out. Then your body, your soul doesn't belong to those type of truck. You are not a child of the ghetto. You are the child of the palace. Cast it out in the name of Jesus. You are not a child of the ghetto. Hallelujah. You are not a child. You are not a son or daughter of the ghetto. My God, you are the child of the palace. The kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are a royal priest. So cast that demon out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Cast it out. All this for finding. Cast it out. That your house is a palace. Your house is a palace. Your body and your soul. My God and my Father, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand against those demonic power. Kara Maseke, your place. My body does not belong to you. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. Yes. I'm partnering with the Holy Spirit. And so therefore, we are praying that, the, that, that, that hallelujah, that anything that you can, that the Holy Spirit will not allow anything that is not from God to enter into our children, to enter into my husband, to enter into my wife, my brother, my sister. When you began to pray this prayer. You will see things happen. We began to pray with love. God will unite you with those people that says you are their enemy. The Lord will cause, it will make it a thing that you, you will go there and bring unity. The Lord will unite you with the enemies. The hallelujah. Because you don't feel that you are there, but they take you like enemy. God will unite you with them. My God and my Father, glory be to God, brother Mark. Yes, the Lord will unite you with your family. It will unite you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Kaseke. God, with the Holy Spirit, will take control over your life, over your destiny, over your children. Hallelujah. Over your husband and your wife. The Holy Spirit will take control. The Holy Spirit will take control. And that's why we are praying this morning. Say, Holy Spirit, take control over my life, over my wife, over my husband, over my children, over my brothers and sisters, my cousin, my sibling. Holy Spirit, take control. Bring unity in my family. Bring unity. Bring unity. Let the fountain of love flow. Flow in my family this morning. As from now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I build the altar of God in my family. I build the altar of prayer in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, beloved, when you began to pray, it happens to me. Praying for somebody that hates me. When I was praying, I said, Lord, kill the person. I do this. The Lord took me to Ezekiel 33. You are the watchwoman. You are the watchman. Pray. I said, no. This one is it's not like that. The person has hurt me so much. There's nothing I can do. I just want to get, get away with it. The prayer is not there to use that we kill people. It's to bring unity and reconciliation. When God opened my eyes and it filled my heart with love, since then, I said nothing on earth can bring hatred. My God, it, even though it, the seed comes, prayer must saturate my heart. Love must saturate my heart. So that's why Holy Spirit must take control. Hallelujah. Over my life, every morning, over the destiny. Hallelujah. Over my children, my husband, my, my wife. Because tomorrow, one day, we're going to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. And we're going to be happy forever. So we don't want our beloved one to be where the devil wants them to be. The hell has been made for the devil and his fallen angel, not for any human being. So we are praying that God will preserve our family in love, in unity. Beloved, if anyone in your family have hurt you so badly, this is a time to forgive and use one occasion to Amen. show love. When I reject you, as you continue in prayer, I'm telling you the Holy Spirit We began to minister in your heart. So this morning, we pray for unity of the family. We pray for self-control. We pray that God will give us, hallelujah, a spirit of patience, a spirit of self-control. Hallelujah, that will not be judgmental. My God will not be judgmental. Judging people, crucifying them before they die. God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you. We give you honor, we give you glory. To this morning, Lord, we bless your holy name. Begin to turn the Holy Spirit, beloved. I can feel the Holy Spirit in our heart. I can feel it. I can feel it that the Holy Spirit has saturated our heart. We have abandoned and let go. In the name of Jesus Christ, find the Holy Spirit. Say, your yes, Lord, we thank you for the life of my brother, for the life of my wife, for the life of my children, for the life of my cousin, for the life of my husband. I thank you this morning for the reconciliation and the restoration, for the refreshment, hallelujah, for the love and unity. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the protection of my children, my husband. I thank you because the devil has missed his target. In the name of Jesus, we seal this prayer with the stamp of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, as you go out, be covered with the blood of Jesus. Let your going out and your coming in be blessed. Let the blood of Jesus cover us. We are waiting that the, the lockdown will be lifted next month and they will come together and celebrate. Hallelujah, what the Lord has done to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. So therefore, you that are watching, that have not yet given your life to Christ, I use this opportunity, this platform, to call you that you should get your life to Christ. Hallelujah. Give your life to Christ. Come make peace with God. Make reconciliation with Christ. And you will enjoy what we are saying. You enjoy this overflowing love. In the name of Jesus Christ, glory be to God. Father, Lord, I pray for my brother, my sister, that have just received you this morning as his personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Thank you for forgiving the sin. And Lord, he is now in the family of God. In the name of Jesus, he is your Savior and your Redeemer. Receive him in your heart. Open your heart. In the name of Jesus, as we said, Sunday, uh, nine, uh, 10 o'clock, hallelujah, we are on air with our dear brother Mark. Hallelujah. Praise and worship. Tune with us. Amen. Tune with us. We are on air. If you want us in a gap, the Gap Church in Warri, we are there. In Kindly Community, Kindly, we are there. When they lifted up, we start. Look for Agape Church. Look for it and come. You will be blessed. 
Hallelujah. You will feel the love of God, the true love of God in our ministry, in the ministry of Christ, in the name of Jesus. Sunday, we are taking communion. Don't give up. It is our healing service. Connect with us. Facebook Live. Connect in the name of Jesus. Connect. Share it. Share the link. Share the link when you see Brother Mark on, on air. Share the link. Tell people how when he sees healing will saturate your heart. Love will saturate your heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Thank you for watching. I just appreciate you, brothers and sisters. You are a blessing. Really, you are a blessing. It's because of you that we are here. We appreciate you. God bless you. Let the Lord give you the desire of your heart. Whatever thing you are looking for, begin to receive it this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Bye-bye. Jesus loves you. Bye. 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 Bye.